Good Saturday night, everybody. I just want to bring you another update on Hurricane Maria. Now we're still tracking a major hurricane here. As of the five o'clock advisory, it is about 640 miles south southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. A category three hurricane, still a pretty big hurricane as well in terms of uh, it's very wide. So again, we're going to watch this track very closely. It's still expected to travel to the north and northwest, eventually weaken, weakening as it moves over cooler waters. And you'll notice as I zoom in here on this track, I want you to pay very close attention to say Wednesday, Thursday, even late Tuesday time frame, because notice that cone of uncertainty is very wide once you get into the middle and latter part of the week, because the model's not really sure exactly how close or how far off the coast Maria will track. So as we push into Wednesday and also into Thursday, it will be downgraded to a category one hurricane or is forecast to uh, be downgraded into a category one hurricane and then eventually curving out to sea late Thursday into Friday. I do want to show you the computer models in pretty good agreement that Maria will track to the north and northwest. But again, a couple of models have Maria closer to the coast right over the Outer Banks, one particular model. And then we've got a few models that keep Maria farther offshore. So again, that's going to be the determining factor and what we see and really our impacts here in Hampton Roads. Now, I do want to show you another view. Don't pay so much attention to that red line that the Hurricane Center pretty much has uh, Maria really going down, but pay more so attention to the cone because Maria can track anywhere within this cone. If it's farther offshore, closer to Bermuda, that's good for us, but the models have actually been trending a little bit farther to the west. So with that westerly track, if that does hold, that means we'll have greater impacts here. So we're talking heavy rain, even the possibility of some storms, very gusty, winds, rough surf, higher than normal tide. So again, we're going to watch that very closely because if Maria takes that more so westerly track of the cone, then we will see the greater impacts here. Now let's talk about the forecast models. Now we use two particular models, uh, the GFS, which is the American model and the Euro, which is the uh, European model. So this is in the orange and you'll notice it's hard to really tell them apart because they've been doing a pretty good job and both models thinking that, okay, Maria is going to travel to the north and the northwest. However, one model keeps it a little bit closer to the coast, the GFS, and then the European keeps it a little bit farther off the coast. And that's what we're going to be watching as we go over the next several days. But mo both models do take Maria out over out into the open Atlantic as we push into Thursday and Friday. Now this has also changed. So I do want to update you really quickly on the probability of tropical storm force winds. So we're talking winds 39 miles per hour and greater. Earlier this morning, we'll say this brown area was shifted farther offshore. However, tonight we're noticing that that area, that 50% chance is along the Outer Banks. And then this whole pretty much polygon has shifted a little bit farther to the west as the models have continued to shift this storm to the west as well. And then it just falls off as you push farther to the north and northwest. Now let's talk about the water temperatures because Maria is still in very warm waters. We're talking well into the 80s, not too far from the Bahamas. But notice as you push farther to the north where it is expected to track, the waters are much cooler. You'll notice the lighter shades here, and that's all thanks to Jose. Jose really turned up the seas and got that cooler water from the bottom to replace the warmer surface temperatures or surface water uh, at the top there. So again, as Maria treks to the north, it will weaken. It is forecast to as it moves over those cooler waters. And that's really what's been happening with uh, a lot of these systems and major hurricanes that we've been seeing. Irma, also Jose has caused what's called upwelling. So it's been causing those cooler temperatures temperatures. All right, now Maria is sort of being held in place, if you will, by a couple of features. So a lot of times we look at the jet stream, we look at ridges of high pressure, and we have an area of high pressure just over the Atlantic, which is helping to steer Maria. And then we've got this trough out just over the uh, southeastern Gulf coast or the Gulf of Mexico. And notice we've got a trough out to the west. This trough will also have an influence on Maria. So here we go. Monday, Maria is not too far away from 
from the coast into Tuesday, just off of our coast. And then as we push into Wednesday, it gets a little bit closer, but notice there's that trough and that trough will help to move Maria out to sea as we push into Thursday and also into Friday. So that's what we're watching and the time frame for us in terms of any effects will be late Tuesday, mainly Wednesday into Thursday. And then by Friday, we're going to clear things out. All right, so here's a look at the forecast, the NOAA forecast. Pretty good so far and meaning pretty good. Obviously, we don't want major hurricanes, but the forecast not too bad. Five to nine hurricanes. So far, we've had seven major hurricanes, anywhere from two to five. So far, we've had four. Now, when we talk about the major hurricanes, remember, those are category three and up. So three, category four, category five. Gert and Franklin were category one and two. So those were not major hurricanes, but Harvey, Irma, Jose, four and fives. Maria was a, or is a, I should say, a category three hurricane. So that was it is a major hurricane. So again, we're going to continue to watch it and we still have a few more names to go. So let's hope that hurricane season starts to quiet down as we start to wind down. But as always, we'll keep you updated with any changes.